Welcome to the Twilight Zone. No, not that Twilight Zone. The Oceanic Twilight Zone. One of the most mysterious ecosystems on Earth. 200 to 500 feet under the surface, it gets dark during the day. Like, scary dark. Usually, coral needs sunlight to survive, yet here a reef thrives. Researchers at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco are finding that these deep reef corals get their energy in a clever way. Well, in contrast to shallow water reefs, which are largely driven by sunlight, twilight zone reefs exist kind of as the sunlight starts to disappear. As it's darker there, there's less photosynthetic corals, and there are more corals that rely upon filter feeding, or catching and eating plankton, uh, bacteria, sort of detritus and debris that floats down from shallower waters. Up until now, the reefs of the Twilight Zone have been too deep for normal scuba diving and too shallow to justify the expense of exploring with a submersible. But thanks to some fancy new diving tech, the Academy of Sciences is finally bringing the deep reef to the public with a first-of-its-kind exhibit. One of the most fascinating animals we got for this new exhibit are uh, benthic thinophores. They have very long tentacles that look like uh, long fishing lines, and uh, they captured plankton with them. Bringing the creatures up from the deep was a tremendous challenge, particularly with fish, whose air-filled swim bladders can get kind of, well, bloody. Now that swim bladder represents a problem to us because when we reduce the ambient pressure for a fish, the swim bladder expands and it crushes all of the other organs inside the fish. So the Academy invented its own mini decompression chamber. In the deep, divers collect fish and seal them inside. At that point, that becomes the world's deepest aquarium. We hand it off to a surface support team, and then they control the decompression of those fish over a period of up to about 48 hours, slowly acclimating them to the surface pressure that they will uh, be living in when they come to our aquarium. Diving to such depths also presents huge problems for the divers themselves. Typical scuba gear can get you only around an hour of dive time breathing oxygen and nitrogen. But at these depths, divers breathe not nitrogen, but helium a very expensive gas. So the Academy's divers use what's known as a rebreather, which cycles the helium instead of releasing it all into the water. So with the rebreather, everything goes back into the system. There's a canister in our back that filters the carbon dioxide out, and then we keep breathing the same helium over and over again and add oxygen as we need it. We can stay underwater with a rebreather for five, six, seven hours. That's key to being able to reach the deep reefs since the divers have to spend so much time decompressing on their way back up. And the urgency to explore and understand the twilight zone is real. Shallow coral reefs are suffering terribly from both warming seas and pollution. Whether the deep reefs of the twilight zone can avoid the same fate isn't yet clear. But just maybe this strange place can serve as a refuge as the oceans transform. After all, weirder things have happened in the twilight zone. <laughs>